Go ahead, Curtis. Hey, Kapo. My name is uh, Curtis Pichelga from the Mercury News in San Jose. Uh, just what, what are your initial, uh, what was your initial reaction to, to the trade this morning? Um, obviously, uh, a bit shocked um, for my first time getting traded. And, uh, but, you know, also when I heard uh, that I'm going to San Jose, I was, uh, I was also really excited about the opportunity and uh, it's going to be great, I think. And so just uh, really, really looking forward to it. What do you know about uh, about the Sharks organization and the opportunity that uh, that you might have here? Um, a good team, you know, the games I played against uh, San Jose. I remember, you know, there's a lot of good players there. And I think it's going to be uh, for sure we're going to be a team that's going to be able to compete in, uh, in the near future. And um, it's going to be a great opportunity, like I said. Sharks fans have seen you, you know, here and there, especially last season. Um, but kind of describe, how would you kind of describe yourself as a goalie in your style? Um, yeah, I try to be, uh, try to be a little bit of a mix of, uh, being, being calm and reading the play really well, but obviously sometimes you have to battle and, um, try to make, uh, make, make big stops if, you know, when the puck's bouncing, uh, so you got to be able to react, but I, I really try to base my game on, you know, try to make it easy for myself and, and for the defenseman in front of me and uh, have everything in, in control. And um, so that's something I, I, I try to do. Thank you. Corey. Yeah. 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 What, um, what, what, what was sort of the conversation like with, uh, with like Joe will after the, after they Sharks traded for you? Um, yeah, it was, you know, um, Every everyone who's who's called me uh, has been uh, really welcoming, and 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 uh, seems like everyone you know um, are, are are great people, and um, so I'm just just really uh, excited for the uh, opportunity and, and uh, to get going here. The Wild had been sort of there had been rumors about them possibly trading for Mark Andre Fleury for the past few days. Is that how much did you pay attention to that and? I guess whenever you saw, if you saw the the flurry news that came out right before this trade, did you sort of have an inkling that you might be on the move? I had no idea. I was actually on the ice. They pulled me out of there uh, from the morning skate and uh, just told me I had to leave the ice. And at first I was kind of thinking that something happened to, uh, you know, to my, someone in my family or something. But um, so I was scared, but uh, then I heard I was, I was getting traded. So um yeah, I, I had no idea. I had paid no no attention to any any of that. And uh, like I said, it, obviously it is a shock but uh, at first. But, you know, now that, uh, you know, I've had a little bit of time here to think about it, I think it's uh, it's going to be a great opportunity. So, I mean, we don't know exactly what's going to happen over the next hour or so, but they're – with you and Aiden Hill and James Reimer, the Sharks do have three goalies under contract for next year. How do you sort of see that working out? Uh, I, I haven't had a uh, time to pay attention to that either. Uh, you know, I, I think the next step is to to get me um, to uh, to you know to be with the team and, and uh, meet all the guys and and see where it goes. I, I haven't I haven't paid attention to that at all. I I'm, I'm really forward to uh, looking forward to meet all the guys and, and get to know everyone and um, you know hopefully uh, hopefully we can uh, have some success here. Thank you. Thank you, Chang. Hey, Kapo. This is uh, Chang Peng, a Stanley Hockey Now. Uh, welcome to San Jose. Thank you. Uh, wanted to ask you, uh, first, uh, will you be uh, joining the team in uh, Calgary? Uh, I think that's a plan, yeah. I, there's obviously some things we have to figure it out here, but I, I believe that's a plan, so yeah. Do you know anybody on the shark? Uh, Nick Bonino played here last year, so I know him. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I don't. I don't think I know anyone else before. But um, uh, like I said, really looking forward to meet everyone. So that's great. And uh, uh, are you uh, familiar with uh, again if getting a back off? Uh, you know, uh, if not, uh, who do you usually work with? Like over the summer for uh, your goaltending coach over the summer? You know, just that sort of uh, training stuff. Uh, he, he gave me a call and, and welcomed me in and, uh, you know, talking to him uh, the first time now, I, I, I really had a good feeling uh, of that uh, phone call. And uh, 
obviously I know he's uh, he played uh, he played a long career. He was a great goalie in NHL, so I think for sure, um, anytime you get to work with a person that's you know been in a game for so long in this league, it's it's a great opportunity to learn something and uh, you know keep building uh, uh, my game. So uh, really really excited about that. Uh, can you share a little bit about uh, the message that Evgeny gave you when he uh, just talked to you? Uh, he just welcomed me in. Uh, it was it was a quick call, but just welcomed me in and, uh, you know, uh, just just uh, whenever whenever I uh, I meet everyone, just going to have a chat with him and, and you know, kind of figure it out, everything moving forward. And uh, but, yeah, he, he welcomed me uh, to the team. And uh, so that was uh, that was a cool moment. And uh, is this uh, your first uh, uh, trade, I guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah, first time. So how does this feel? <laughs> uh, a little bit of shock at first, obviously, and, and still, um, I still am, but um, also also really, really excited. So, All right. Thank you so much, Kapo. Welcome to San Jose. Thank you. Anything else here before we wrap? Dan? Hey, Capo, Dan Rusinowski, Sharks uh, Audio Network. Just uh, welcome, first of all, but second of all, just wanted to find out uh, how you feel uh, that you've improved your game. You're a very great athlete and you, you, you move quite well. Um, where do you think you've improved the most in the last couple of years with Minnesota? Um, obviously, uh, getting up to the NHL uh, for last season, you know, it's a new league and new players and um, new challenges. So once you get a little more comfortable with uh, with that and and get more games in, it's everything starts to come a little more natural. And then there's of course still uh, things that I, I want to improve on. And um, I think, like I said, uh, Nabokov, uh, you know, the career he had in uh, in this league is uh, for sure someone that you know uh, I can I can learn from and and um, really. Uh, looking forward to uh, working with him and um, to you know uh, see see and uh, and uh, figure out those things I, I, I can improve on and uh, you know so we look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Capo. Uh, Thank again, you. everyone, uh, just uh, stay by the the emails and phones if we have any news. We'll